Hey gang, thought I'd uh, catch up a little bit now that um, I've got a new camera and we'll, this counts as an experiment in the uh, recording exercise in terms of sound quality and picture quality and stuff like that. So I'm not going to take a, a lot of time. I do want to touch on a couple of things, uh, namely uh, perhaps opening up the floor a little bit to what's played next. I do have lots of things that I would like to try and get to, uh, as always. In fact, a lot of new games have come in over the last month, um, more so than usual, and feeling a little, little pressured to want to get on, uh, get on that track of getting all those, all those games played. So, not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see, and. I'm pausing because I'm noticing a little jagginess in the uh, recording when I moved my hands around there. Things got jaggy, which is not a good sign. All right. Some choices for your consideration. I do and will uh, play this little guy. It's the Lock and Low Tactical uh, System. It's their demo game. I thought it might be cool to uh, do a full playthrough, record the entire gameplay from scratch. Doesn't mean I'm going to play the rules right, because I'm just going to grab it and play it. I'm not going to read the rules and play it. I've played the game many, many times. This is uh, infantry only, so it should be pretty straightforward. <clears throat> so, option number one. Option number two uh, is this uh, second edition of the uh, Ya Magazine's um, Sticks and Stones system, Pole and Strikes. That's conceptually interesting to me. Um, keen to have a look at that. On a more robust note and complex note, uh, this little guy, I was thinking about grabbing one of these battles and playing it. I, I'm hankering for either Ancients or Napoleonics at the moment. Uh, this would probably take a little bit of work and needs to, uh, you know, we need to kind of ease our way back into this system because I have not had a lot of exposure to it, but I do feel like it's a probably one of the better tactical systems around. So there is that to be considered. Uh, I had this game set up and I won't lift it up vertically, but I had this game set up. And I put everything back in the box very carefully this way with all the counters set up on the counter setup sheets uh, so that at least I've got it sorted to start. Unfortunately, when I was we're remodeling all this business, I had to uh, pack it up. So this is a little bit of a confusing set of rules because it's a structured learning approach. And if you just want to read the rules and play, uh, I found it a little difficult to grok. So I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to just jump into that. So there is that. I'm very, very interested in trying that as a strategic level World War II, anything can happen type of thing. Uh, I've got two other games here, SBI games. One is Punic Wars. This does not have a map. Uh, I do have a digital copy of it, so I can go get it printed. <clears throat> and in fact, I probably should go make that happen. So let's, let's put that to one side and make that happen. I wouldn't mind trying to jump on this. Uh, Hannibal's uh, Second Punic War, I think that might be... I haven't even really read the rules, but it's an SBI game. How hard can it be, right? <clears throat> that might be interesting to have a look at. You know, the other thing that I've read rules for... Uh, where is it? Right. Yeah, India, Pakistan. Uh, I re I, you know, I've read the rules there. I, I really should try and jump on that bad boy uh, pretty quickly, I guess. I need to maybe brush my hair in the mornings or something. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I promised myself I would play this. Play an orange. Paul Herman, kind of like the uh, Empire of the Sun light. Uh, I should pull my head out of my backside and try and play this. I have to read the rules for that first, so there's that. I am about to start or embark upon a, 
a play on Vasily the Live or by email of uh, the Battalion co- uh, Command System Combat Series, I should say, uh, the Bastogne thing. So that's happening. Uh, I did 44 is happening. So, uh, but I just did want to share those games that I'm currently looking at. I also, I also kind of got crazy and purchased the Second World War series, uh, The Balkan Front, uh, just to try it out to see if it would be something that is worth looking into as a system per se, you know, as a kind of, uh, you know, a, a grown-ups version of Europa, I guess, if there's such a thing. I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. Uh, you know, the rules look pretty straightforward so far, but there's lots of things where I think we could have had a table and had some notes versus four pages of rules. That's just me. But so there are the things I have on my table at the moment that I think would be uh, interesting to take a look at. I'd love to hear back from you guys on what you'd like to see. I've still got Tac Air on the table. Trying to get that finished up. I'm playing Pacific War with a buddy of mine. And next weekend, I'm playing Develta Krieg, uh, the Tannenberg or Galicia scenario, one of the two. So I'm going to get those rules done. That's all I got going on right now. Uh, not a lot of other games set up. Uh, in fact, there's nothing set up in the house anyway, and uh, nothing, nothing else going on. So a little bit of hard end 44 on the vassal. That's about it. You now know the games. Uh, Quattro, Quattro uh, Batils, Blitzworld in Flames, Plan Orange, Hannibal Second World War, Second World War, Second Punic War, uh, Balkan Front, Next War, India Pakistan. What else was there? Look, there's a bunch of shit that I would love to play right now, but I just, uh, I just haven't got a lot of time. So we need to, we need to get on that, right? You tell me, maybe I'll play that game. Let's see. Talk to you guys soon.